It's the game where we fill in the blanks with cash. It's Match Game! Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Match Game. I'm your host, Darren Rose. Let's say hi to our panel. Hi. Hello, Darren. Hello, Hello. friends. Hello. I like Rachel. I really do. So cute. I think I'm just gonna ask her out. Enough. Uh, you should know she and I had a bit of a moment, like, the other night after closing. What do you mean, a moment? Well, like, we were just talking, and then our mouths kind of slowly high five <sighs> for a while. Why do you do that? Cut my grass. I say I like someone, you back off. That's what friends do. Sorry, man. I just... You were taking a long time. There's no time frame. Your friends say I like some when you back off. This is my hunting ground. This is what I do, man. You, you have your own hunting ground, man. You School, hot moms, that Scottish lady, you got all the other teachers, Lisa. I don't want She's Lisa. So hot. I don't want Lisa. Is it cool if I take a run at her? Why wouldn't you take a run at that? You take a run at everything. Oh. <laughs> Bet you a round of drinks on me. That's Thank very you. sweet, Bill. Thank you. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll let you get back to the rest of your evening, but also... Also, I was wondering, what are you guys talking about? Volleyball. Volleyball. That's a weird choice. Usually people just, like, complain about their coworkers or talk about, like, who's hooked up and who's single and who's not single. You guys are both single, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Are. All right. Worth knowing. So, Lisa was looking pretty good the other day. Do me a favor. Stay away from the people I work with. It's a free country. Buddy, a little brecky? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? I mean, what am I doing here? I live here. That is a good point. It's... Listen, I want to talk to you about the Gene Kate scenario I had last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to also talk to you about something. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> hey, Jerry. Miss Mason? That's my toothbrush. Oh, God. On a scale of 10, for sure. Here we go. On screen. I'm very sorry. I think I ran into you. It's space. You couldn't go around me? Are you OK? Because you look a little banged up. You're pretty jacked up, man. Yeah. That's my face. Oh. <laughs> in a fight, I once kicked my brother in the knee, even though I knew he just had knee surgery. <gasps> yeah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean even though, I meant because. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted for myself as a child. I wanted something better for myself. I wanted to be Batman. Oh, that's way better. So much better. I trained for years. I trained, I took karate, I took gymnastics class. I remember the first night my dad took me to gymnastics class. We walk into the gym, and it is all girls. It is 100% girls and me. And I was like, oh no, I'm gay. <laughs> I didn't even know what gay meant, right? I was a kid, it was just a word, but I knew from my friends that if you played with all girls all the time, that was totally gay. And I knew that Batman didn't play with any girls at all. Batman only played with Robin, and that is totally not gay. When I was growing up, I, uh, I grew up with all guys. My brother and I were raised by my dad, which is a testosterone-rich environment. We had one rule that was implied, uh, no crying, right? It makes all guys, no crying. But, uh, but it, was, uh, it was hard to figure out. It was just implied. I never saw my dad cry. I never saw my brother cry. And so the first time I made a girlfriend of mine cry, just from sheer lack of exposure, I was lost. I didn't even know what to do. Even the tears themselves, I was touching her face. I was like, what is this, like an allergic reaction to yelling? What was that? <laughs> Salty. <laughs> I didn't to make her stop either. Oh God, it's just going on and I just, I mean, I just said what my dad would say to me, right? I was like, you better cut that out before I give you something to cry about. And that's not gonna, 